Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGM007 and today we're looking at the DMC GUI Shop plugin. So as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to create a GUI shop with different categories, add items to it with different prices, and then your players can buy and sell at their convenience to either get rid of items or buy flashy new ones. So the main command is forward slash GUI shop as you would expect, and that brings up the main menu. Now here what you can do is create categories. So what we've got here is a test category. This one is created by default and this one requires a permission. Then this one on the left is the one that I just created and on the right is another one I created. Now if you want to name this, you must name your item otherwise it will just look like a random weapon. So what we can do is click on this left one that I created and as you can see I have added two items here. It says the purchase price and the selling price. And then if we were to click on one for example, you can choose how many you want. So at the moment I'm buying 17 for $170. Or if I right click any of these, I can bring that number down to something a little bit more sensible to three. So I can either hit cancel or confirm. And there we go, I have purchased three of these slightly used diamond axes. So that is how it would work. How do we create a category of our own? And we can do forward slash GY shop create category. The next thing is the actual name we want to give it. So the category it will be under. So we're going to call it hats. And then the placement on the GUI, we're going to put it in slot 9 because I know that's open. Then if we go back into the GUI shop, we can see that the slot is down here. This is where 9 is. And this is exactly how the item looks. So we can click on it and there's currently nothing in it. So what we need to do is add some items to it. And the way we do that is forward slash GUI shop, add item. And then we're going to add it to the hats category. And then we want to put the buy and sell price. So I'm going to put it buy for 25, sell for 5. And then we can do the same for the other two. This one's going to be 120. And then finally, this one can be 999 after putting a hyphen. And there we go. This one cannot be sold. So if we open up the GUI shop now and then go into our hats category, you can see there are three items here. So this one cannot be sold at all but the diamond helmet, we could sell my only one of those to get 20 bucks. And we can go back and then we could buy another one of the top hat if we wanted to. Or if we right click this, we can sell both of the ones that I have, confirm that, and now they're gone. So in order to add a command to something, we need an item. We're gonna use this red sand. If we do GUI shop and then add command, and then what we're going to do is have the console say it and they're just going to go say followed by the player's name so we can use player in squiggly brackets exclamation mark hit enter and then it says you added a new command so then we can do gy shop list command here we go this is the only command it's going to say and obviously we can do forward slash gy shop add item and we're going to add it to random I believe that's one of the ones I called and then it's gonna be buy for two sell for two so now if we go into the GY shop go into the random one here it is and if we purchase it you can see it says that that's a nice bit of sand and my username so that is how you could attach a command to it obviously you could give them uh, monetary value so if they're buying emeralds that could give them actual money in their balance or something similar it could change the weather or you know do something random like that so that is how we use it in game now we're going to head over to the config file and see how we can change things in there so here we are in the smp control panel and as you can see there are three yml files so in the config there's really not too much we've got the gui size and the category size the language we're going to use and then the different items and then down here we've got all of the different amounts that people can buy stuff for and then the next and previous page buttons so don't really need to touch any of that messages.yml this is just going to be everything that appears in chat so you don't really need to edit that either and then shops this is just a data file so this has all of the data in here for the shops so if we were to scroll up to the top uh, this is the test category so the one that's here by default and then we've got the display name and law, so you could potentially change stuff in here if you wanted to. Um, but obviously, you could just do it in game. 
And here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated for 1.13 to 1.19. If we scroll down here, here are the commands, very straightforward, adding and removing items. Here are the permissions for the category, all the admin commands. And overall, it's a really neat plugin and hopefully it keeps getting updated and improved. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.